Okay, I'm down here in the basement. And I'm getting ready. I just marked a line on the walls. I'm cutting three feet up from the floor. And I think you can see the line there. Now that's a black line there. I had to use that. Then the rest is chalk line across here. But anyway, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use my... I hope the saw works. Uh, work. Work saw. Uh, it's small, it's only got like a four, four inch blade on it, I think. But I have it set at three quarter inch, I have drywall behind this paneling. So we're going to cut this and see how it goes. And uh, I'll get back to you on this. Uh, don't know what's going to happen here, so let's give it a shot. And what we're doing here, we're removing this paneling and the drywall behind it. So we get to the insulation and get it out of there, the wet insulation. Then we're going to leave it open for a few days, maybe even a week, to let it dry out good and then re-insulate it. I think I'm going to put Wayne's coat up like I did over here. Uh, over here, up. that's three foot up from the bottom. But, and by the way, that all has to come off too, but I think I can save that. I'm not sure, but we're going to try. Okay, I just cut a section here, and you can see I could, I'm going to try to pull this off away from the, I glued it to the drywall, and I'm hoping I cut enough of the drywall, I can get that out of there too, but I'm probably going to have to cut down, I don't know how I'm going to get right to the end, I don't know yet, but, but we're going to see if this comes off, and hopefully it will. So maybe I'll video a little of this just to, for giggles. Well, that was easy. I would. But we can see it's mold behind the paneling. So all that's coming out. Can't wait. Okay, I'll get back to you on it. is going to be good enough or not, or if the light's good enough, but I'm going to cut along this line here over to this panel, and then I can rip that off. I'm going to do a panel at a time. I think it might be easier that way. See how it goes.
And I don't know if that's showing up, but we, that's the first panel we took off. See the mold? There's mold there, mold there. Yep. We definitely got a mold issue in the walls. So. I think I'll have a tank better. Yeah, that's not bad.
That saw seems to be cutting through it real good. Starting to get dusty down here. Yeah, I don't like that part of it, but I think I'm going to shut off the dehumidifiers so they don't suck in all that dirt. I'll be back. Okay, let's see if we can rip this panel off. Really mushy down low. Still got moisture in it, but it's all breaking up. It's soft. That's damp down in there. That's the way I like it to come off. Big chunks. Okay, it's the last piece for this wall.
There it is. Got a little mold there. Okay. Well, I got the drywall off. It was soaked at the bottom. You can see the insulation. And it's soaked at the bottom. The wood's wet. I don't see... I really don't see any mold on the wood at this point, but... Now, maybe we can get it dried out before it starts to mold. I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at. There's the pile. The fun part is cleaning up. But, uh... Anyway, that's it for now. It's, uh... I gotta cut the insulation out. And, uh, so I can replace it. So, back to you later. Okay. It's wet down there. I don't know if you can see how wet. That is wet. I see no mold this time. So I got the fan blown on it. Got the dehumidifiers gone. And we're just going to let this go for a while. And uh, see how it dries out. Well, it will dry out. I got a lot of cleaning up to do, so that's next in line. I'm not going to video that. That's everybody knows how that goes. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. And that black plastic behind that, I draped that between the wall and the studs, so that no water could get to it. And down here, I don't think. Well, maybe I can get the light down in here. I put foam in there to kind of hold the uh, plastic down, but the, the flooring does not touch the concrete wall there. It goes right to the stone. That way the water will run down behind the plastic if it enters through the wall and go underneath the floor. And what happened was there was too much water from somewhere getting through the wall, I think, and causing the system, it couldn't handle all the water. Anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, this should be the last of the drywall I have to take out. That's probably about 12 feet. Anyway, we got one section out. And the insulation on the bottom is saturated. Which, you know, like all the others. But you see the chalk line there. That's, that's the line I'm cutting on. And I'm not sure what I'm putting in there. But anyway, once this is out, and then we got the... I'll have to start taking that out. And that's the Wayne's coat. It's a little dark in here. Let me get a light. And that's a little better. That's the range coat. Now it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it at all, but it's what's behind I'm worried about. So I'll tear some out and see what it looks like, but I think it's all going to have to come out. And there it goes the whole way up. The whole way up there and on the other wall. So anyway, got to be done. Okay. Got the drywall tore off, and I don't mess to clean up, but do that. But now I got the insulation to take out. I got to get a contractor garbage bag and cut it. And that stuff is soaked in the bottom. Up in here, it's dry. That part I'll leave. The rest of it's coming out. Okay, insulation's out. See how wet it is. Look how wet. It's the way it all was, the way around the basement. 
just soaking wet. I put the fan on it. Keep the dehumidifiers running. It'll dry this out in no time. I gotta tuck this insulation up under behind so I don't have insulation burning all over the place. Anyway, that's that's where we're at. The worst of it's over.